Hello there, today we compare crit and status saws, here we have a critical setup and a status setup. The parts can be seen at the top right, and these are the stats of the gilded saw. The Warframe setup is standard, Arcane Strike, and Fury for both Zaws with corrosive projection. No abilities or Kavod abilities will be used. Now let me show you the Critical Plague Key War setup. I got a pretty sweet ribbon for this babe, and you can drop in Drifting Contact if you do not have a combo duration ribbon like this. You can also replace Organ Shatter for Berserker. We will be using level 155 Corrupted Heavy Gunner Eximus for this test, it's overkill as you only encounter a few of these on actual missions, but it helps you know what you are getting yourself into when building these saws. The crit build easily tears them down, no questions asked. But how about the pure status build? Now, the status build. Yes, despite being a pure status build, Blood Rush is in the build so that you can have Berserker in the build if you do not have a ribbon with attack speed while being able to maintain Arcane Fury buffs, and you can replace Organ Shatter with Drifting Contact. The benefit of pure status build is that you can drop out Blood Rush and put in utility mods like Life Strike or Healing Return. For the test, similar enemies, yes I know Leech Eximus makes killing these inconsistent and you won't meet these enemies a lot unless you play endless mission types, but you will still know how well you will do with these saws. Similarly, this status saw obliterates these scrubs with no problem, so in my honest opinion, both critical and status saws are equally good, especially on staff based play keyword, which is cough cough, better than creep path cough. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.